and uh, also like the examples that you have given that uh, you know driving a car or maybe a bicycle or maybe uh, when the when a child started writing or even swimming everything everything right. that uh, that comes with repetitions and uh, practice and so many things a uh, similar way i believe uh, how we can look at our life or how we can go deeper within ourselves that also will come from practice but all these things needs at least one guidance in every aspect we need a guide uh, when we start writing our parents are there and our teachers are there who has guided us uh, to us how to uh, how to handle the pen or pencil and again when i started uh, you know driving a car i have a driving instructor with me who has instructed me our uh, initial days when i was you know uh, doing something wrong he was there with me so uh, and i believe in human life silver method is that instructor is that uh, parent for us who can help us who will help us to go inside ourselves right rico oh yes oh yes because at a certain point uh we have pro we have in our subconscious mind things that can bother us like some reactions yes reactions to to something that comes from the outer world or sometimes i have some limiting beliefs well they're not limiting they became limiting be beliefs because at a certain point they activated but when you want to change your limiting beliefs from beta mm -hmm you need really to struggle and the point is that jose silva proved showed to the world with mental techniques that when we go down to alpha level we get access to that program and we can change it easily without struggle without stress without uh, nightmares or whatever so we can change even our limiting beliefs we can change a lot of things but the idea is that a lot of people ask me okay how much is gonna take me i don't know it depends from person to person but the beauty is how you get your alpha state and you stay conscious this is what we are learning and we are teaching during those four days and it's very simple now most popular word is meditation but i love the other word mental exercise because we are exercising mentally our mind and our brain and our body so the idea is that we have to when we want to get to alpha we have to relax and that's something that is really opposite to what i was thought in school and in society that if you want to get something you have to put some effort you have to sweat and a, a long story yes and here comes silver method that tells me when i was 21 just relax come on <laughs> and how do you how do i relax well you close your eyes you take some deep breaths and you start counting down and then you relax your mind and your body and automatically your brain after a time of, after 10 minutes maybe not and the time is be becomes shorter and shorter as you practice more and more as it comes to seconds your brain will start producing alpha waves and that's the moment when you because you're sitting that your position is a sitting position so you don't drift into sleep yeah as you're in a sitting position you will not fall asleep and you stay conscious and here comes okay the question and what do i do and this is the magic of the silva method how to talk with your subconscious mind we have techniques so for example headache headaches they're not natural there are only about three to five percent of headaches that are really uh, some uh, dysfunctions in our body. Other, all other headaches are programs from the subconscious mind. 
because kids don't have headaches. don't have headaches. Who yeah, has correct. the headache? My parents. And what do I want to be? An adult. I want to be like my parents. So I start copying by repetition whatever they do and I do not have. So I start repeating headache, headache, headache. Okay. Yes. A lot of work. Oh, and you hear your mother or your father. How was your day? Oh, don't ask me. I had a terrible day. I have such a headache today. So terrible day equals if it's repeating enough times in the child's mind at a certain point will be terrible day equals headache. This is what you want. So the, the beauty is just to demystify uh, the power of the subconscious is that we are always getting what we are asking for. But the idea is that we, nobody taught me till Silva Method how to ask and to ask what I desire. So <laughs> for what I desire. So the, the, the philosophy and actually not the philosophy, but the, 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 the part that really gives you that, that, that ingredient, essential ingredient is to learn what to ask from your subconscious mind. And mostly people, they are asking what they do not want instead of asking what they want. So what are you going to get? You're going to get what you do not want. And it's not your subconscious mind fault. <laughs> so our mind, our subconscious is giving us always what we are asking for. Okay, so uh, before asking, we have to think twice, twice that what we are asking for. <laughs> well, we not have only asking, but what we are thinking about. Okay, okay. Basis. Uh, okay. Because, uh, so for example, we have moments in life. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, please proceed. Yeah. No, please proceed. I'll, I'll because, come up to that. <laughs> <laughs> because we have uh, moments during the day when we are, I call it on an uh, automatic pilot. So, for example, you drive your car or you use the bus or whatever to your job or to the school. So, did it occur sometimes to you that at a certain point you ask yourself, oh, when did I get here? Well, the yeah. question is not when did you get got there, but where have you been? So, where are your thoughts and what are you repeating? And adults are repeating... And just to remind you, what it, the repetition creates neuropaths and creates yeah. programs in sub subconscious mm -hmm. mind, you're going to create problems because yeah. our attention is on problems and not on solutions. Yes. So we we're, we're always get what we are asking for and we are always getting what we're asking for.